Hi students, I am Praveen Sebastian Paul. In this lecture, we are discussing the data flow diagram level 2 for the customer side of online shopping website. And this is a part 2 lecture for this level 2 DFD of the customer side. So in the last lecture, we had discussed the customer side level 2 diagram for 3 independent processes. And in this lecture, we are discussing a 4th process. So my dear students, as we discussed previously, a data flow diagram or a DFD is a graphical view of how the data is processed in a system in terms of input and output. The data flow diagrams contain symbols for drawing the data flows in a system. Basic symbols associated with a figure or diagram are data flow process, entity and data store. The first representation that is a data flow which is represented in arrow are pipelines through the packets of information flow. The second symbol is the process. A process or a task performed in a system is represented with the help of an ellipse. The entities are object of the system. A source or destination data of a system are represented in entity with the symbol rectangle. And the fourth one is the data store is the place where the data are to be stored which are represented by parallel lines. So these four symbols, that is data flow with arrow, processes with ellipse, entities with a rectangle, and data stores with the parallel lines are the fundamental symbols used in a data flow diagram. So my dear students, in the last lecture, we had discussed the level 0, level 1, and level 2, some examples. So the level 1 data flow of this customer side includes five individual processes. Those processes are search item, registration, login, account detail and purchase. So my dear students in the last lecture that is in the lecture number 44 we had discussed the level 2 DFD of search item, registration and login process. So my dear students in this lecture we are discussing the second level DFD for the process account detail of the customer side. When it comes to the second level DFD of the customer side account detail process, the account details deals with dealing the customer details of a particular web portal. A customer or a user can log in into a system by inputting or giving the login credentials to the process. Once the login process receives those inputs, the login details or login credentials are verified in accordance with the data space user details. So this user detail data store area covers or stores all the information associating with all of its customer or user. Once these credentials are verified, if the credentials are given correctly, those users can proceed to the next process that is the process 4.1 that is view account. Once these username and passwords are given correctly, he can proceed to the second process that is a 4.1 process view account. Viewing account means a customer can verify or just view or display the details stored in the data area user detail that is the customer name is email id mobile phone locations etc so once he wants to change the password he can move to the change password process that is a 4.2 process the change password process he can update the password with the data store area user detail the updated data will be reflected in the user detail data space area and this can be verified and confirmed by the admin of that particular web portal. If he want to change the details regarding the account, his email address, name or address, he can go to the process 4.3 and in the 4.3, the user can edit his details and those edited details are reflected in the user detail data area. All these individual processes are represented by the elliptical structure. The one and only one entity associating with these processes are the user and the user is represented in rectangular box. 
all the individual communications are represented by arrows which means a data flow in a data flow diagram so our final process associated with this level 2 dfd is update detail that is the process 4.4 the last process updates all the changes made by the user and those changes should be reflected in the user detail data store area so these data store areas are represented by two parallel lines in this case all the processes are associating with the single data store area that is the data space user detail so my dear students this is how we are representing the level 2 dfd so if we want to expand each of these individual processes that is if we want to expand the process 4.3 that is a process edit account we can apply the third level dfd for the 4.3 so while applying the third level DFD, we can expand these individual process into the next level. So this is how we are representing the data flow diagram for a particular process or a transaction. So my dear students, hope you have understood this topic. So dear students, kindly go through this assignment question. Our question is, draw the level 0 and level 1 DFD for the online ticket booking system. So my dear students, in the upcoming lecture, we will discuss our last lecture for the data flow diagram. That lecture is also including the level 2 DFD for the customer side online shopping website. So my dear students, see you soon. Until then, goodbye, thank you and all the best.